20 years after one of the worst attacks on U.S. soil, those who survived 9-11 are still coming to terms with long-lasting effects from that harrowing day in 2001. Joe Dana has this important story. Well, I think about it every morning, because every morning from the day I got back, I cough. Semi-retired yeah, firefighter Rini Shannon has a morning routine to alleviate the coughing. <sighs> yep, it's my life. And another routine to alleviate the trauma from 9-11. Ready to go to work? <laughs> okay, here she is. Oh. I wake up in the morning, I look at my dogs, we go for a run, and I just feel my blood pressure, my heart rate just coming down, and just, it's just a new day, you know. Rini suffers from World Trade Center cough syndrome. More than 60 first responders from Arizona dug away debris and worked at Ground Zero for 10 days. A leader of that task force tells 12 News many of them still have coughing problems. Several were diagnosed with cancers linked to toxins at the site. At least three of those firefighters have died. I don't regret going. I regret not taking all the precautions that were available to me, uh, not knowing just how serious the atmosphere was. I'm going to go that way. In the same way Rini guides her dogs to success, Yes, girl. She wants to guide younger firefighters. Her message, don't take chances. But when you go to those, those type of disasters, you know, wear your PPE, not just on the pile or, you know, in the tunnel, but when you're in the perimeter or when you take a break, go as far, as you, as far away as you can where there's clear air because it's real. Today, Rini's 9-11 search dog Everest, now deceased, is memorialized in a book of paintings that honors canines. Oh, that was the best dog ever. Rini's 16-month-old Belgian Malinois, Soli, Good girl. is the latest in training for wilderness rescues. Mm -hmm. This is a whole new chapter. It started Preparing to continue a tradition, Good one job. that is not without risks. First responders who work ground zero are in a special World Trade Center health program, giving them annual health checks and other financial benefits. Joe Dana, 12 News.